We good? Oh. Breaking the Cycle is a live show. How about okay. welcome to Breaking the Cycle episode number 19. We good? We good? Yeah. That's a thumbs up kind of gives away that we're a good sign. Real slick. Welcome to Breaking the Cycle episode 19. Did we do even do 18? Yeah, where am I sitting? Wait, but then they don't see me. Okay, start us off. Oh, once we're done with the introductions and stuff, I'm gonna give us off with the, I'm gonna start us off with a starting joke. Oh wow. Breaking the cycle is a live show on how to be a positive male role model and lead your freak family by breaking the cycle and changing the trajectory of your family tree so that you become the type of man your son would want to become and the type of man your daughter would one day want to marry. <clears throat> These are the types of conversations you should be having with your kids so they can learn and think for themselves and are not afraid to be themselves. So when they eventually and they will be are confronted with these life situations, they are not in shock and will have an idea on how to approach it. Hell yeah. What's up? What's up? Hey, look at, look at this. You guys like my pen? Oh, it's, it's a pink pen. It is not a pink pen. What color is that? Burgundy. That's right, it's burgundy. You liar. You always say it's pink. You're just saying that, trying to like you got my side. But you always pick on me. You say, this is a freaking burgundy pen. This is not a pink pen. Anyway, today, this is the back to school edition really? of Breaking the Cycle. Yes, the back to school edition. We're going to talk about. They've been back to school now for a couple of weeks. This is week four, I think. So we're gonna we're gonna dig into some of the topics that they've been talking about back to school. I've got lots of notes and, and keywords here that I want to go over, and we got some I don't know some weird shit to go over there, or weird shit because we're gonna talk about what they go over in school, which is weird shit. So let me grab my burgundy pen, and we're logged in here on the second. There's shitloads of cameras and screens, and another one here just to see. How do you see yourself? I watch my own live video. Um, won't it be echoing? No, no, no. Go on. I want to watch mom. it so we can no, see. No, go on mommy's account and then watch your own thing. You can't just watch your own. Anyway, let's let's get into it. I want to yeah. see comments here because the one Instagram is way over there, so I can never see the comments. So I logged in here, but now I realize how do you watch your own no, you live sign, video? No, you sign in on a different account. That you I don't have, have a different been. account to sign in on there, but she does just watch it on my own account. I can't watch my own live video on my own screen. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be weird. And then we can like it. We can send all kinds of emojis and shit. Oh, yeah. We like our own stuff. All right, what are we starting out with today? All right, so they've been telling every day they come from school. So I, I, I rearranged my schedule that I could bring them to school. It used to be Tuesdays and Thursdays. Right now it's Tuesdays, but I'm going to be able to start doing it also either Wednesday or Friday, one of those other days. Bring them to school. And I also rearranged the schedule that I'm home every day when they get home from school. And of course, we talk about their day, their, what, what was the gym class like? What was the, what did they learn? What did they talk about? What funny shit happened during the day? What weird stuff. And what's the term that you told me they, t that you, they teach you and they talk about? Digital citizenship. You hear digital citizenship? Um, yeah, they, uh, they teach it. They school. tell you that too, that's what it's called? Yeah, be a good digital citizen. Are you kidding me? They tell you that? Yeah, and they teach us all like these safety online slideshows and stuff. They do slideshows. We do like actual. So what is this? Wow, well, you're gonna teach it's, me. I don't know, I don't know. I've never heard of digital digital citizenship. Can I explain it? So we'll start first, and you get add on to it. So just pay attention. Digital, What's digital citizenship. Digital citizenship. It, it's a lesson required by the law, and the teachers have to teach it. So. Digital citizenship is like about online, how there's like creeps out there and but people that try to get your information and stuff. They don't really and mention they, the creeps and, the, and they just talk to you how about like fake Instagram accounts. They call it Finstas. What grade are you in? What? 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 They call it What grade are you in? Sixth. What grade are you in? What is a third and a sixth grader? So are you in using what they're teaching on your Instagram account? What? We don't even no. have phones. What? We don't even have phones. Or an Instagram account. Well, yeah. yeah. 
So what do they what do they teach about digital citizenship in the creepers? Like they how people create fake accounts and they try to fish out information from you. And what was the what was the term? What was they telling you about that people something about they pretend a man pretends to be a girl? Oh yeah, the teacher. That, bring that down because I'm fucking confused. The teacher was watching a Netflix show. She didn't say the name. She said that she forgot it, but we all know she didn't because she didn't want anybody to watch it. So it was this male guy pretending to be a female on something, some like messenger thing, I think, to to this like professional like college football player what the fuck all right enough enough yeah. enough what's it even called what do you say it's called catfishing so you're in sixth grade and they're telling teaching you catfishing this is required under their digital so di, di, oh, i can't say digital citizenship digital citizenship right to be a what do they tell you to be uh Good digital citizen. So, this is what they're spending your time in school learning about. Yeah, hour and a half. One of that's going to help you, I don't know, sell shit when you're older, or communicate. I mean, it kind of does help. Communicate like, people with people when you're online. older. Could it helps like, with being online. What? No, it, it was, was like being safe online. Like being safe. Like it's about being like safe. No, and it said the safest web. Uh, at my last school, we were doing digital citizenship and computer lab. And it said the safest website to start with, like it was like www. No, no, no. It was like HTTPS, whatever it is. You know? So this yes. is going to help you. Definitely going to help you be a better leader in life, sell stuff, learn life skills, make money, be a good communicator, how to talk to people, how to look someone in the eyes and shake their hands and introduce yourself and. Have to start a conversation. It's gonna teach you that stuff, I think, right? Or it's gonna help you with that on Instagram. You'll help you get a lot of likes on Instagram because those are important. You know? What are your stinky feet doing up there? So the first day of school. Oh, I forgot the starting joke. Oh no. What did the dog get after he swallowed the watch? Hold on, I'll try to figure these out. Say it again. What did the dog get after he swallowed the watch? I got it because he cheated. He said, I wouldn't have gotten that. Pretty good one. Pretty good one. It's right there on my pen. But I'm not a cheater. So I can get it. Oh, I got it. He gave me the, when he gave me the clue. All right, so tell me the first day of school. Your first day of school back. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? I'm talking this to her This right Sorry. Can I talk sorry. to her? No, 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 Is that cool no, with you? No, yeah. Wait, first day back in school. Or you want to just sit here? Just take, go take the show. We'll, we'll just sit here. You just okay. go over everything. Uh, yeah, uh, so back to the first day of school, you had a special visitor, right? I remember one, one time, the first day of school in, in kindergarten, do you know it took all the neighbors in the street to get me on the bus in kindergarten? All the all the, all the moms. So every day, I, was, I went to start as kindergarten when I was four years old. So every day, I'd go to the bus stop, I had four you older... Didn't go to you don't have no. no. I went to kindergarten, I went to preschool, then I went to any of that, straight to kindergarten. So I'd go to the bus stop every day with, with my mother and my sister, my four older sisters, for years, every day. We'd go to the bus stop, we dropped them off, I'd go back into the house and whatever. One day, we went out to the bus stop, which is me and my mother. I'm like, this is weird. I wonder why we're going by ourselves and not with my sisters. And the bus comes. I'm like, all right, you're going on the bus. And I had this name tag, a train, a yellow train. I remember like it was yesterday. A yellow Wait, train like that? name tag hanging down with a cardboard with your name oh. on it. Like a, a name tag. Steven. Steven. A yellow, tr- yellow choo-choo train, and I realized, oh shit, this is my move up. Are you like behind me? You're just behind me. Move your seat. Oh my. Like twist it. Oh. So I realized it's my turn to go to school. I thought it was just my sister's turn. I was like, after that, I ain't going on that damn bus. They're not sending me to this, this school. I don't want to go to this school. I've heard horrible tales about school. So I didn't go on the bus. I refused to go on the bus. The bus driver had to unbuckle their, their seatbelt and start pulling me. My mother and all the neighbors are grabbing my legs and arms. I'm kicking and screaming. My yellow name tag, 
two trade name tag ripped off and was shredded and crumpled up on the ground. I had to put it in my pocket and carry my name tag all crinkled up into school the first day. And I got there and screaming and, and crying. I just put my head into a table in a corner and sat there and someone taps on my shoulder. And I yell out. And it was like a, not the kindergarten teacher, but you know how some they have like an assistant? Yeah. yeah. In your hands. Now sometimes they have an assistant. I forget her name. Mrs. Leshen. I look up and it's this old lady. I'm like, ah! I bury my head back in. And she comes and taps me again. I'm like, leave me alone! And it's a different voice. And it's Mrs. Vickers, my kindergarten Vickers? teacher. And I looked up and I thought I was going to marry my kindergarten teacher. Second day of school, I went, no problem. I couldn't wait to go see Mrs. Vickers. I thought it was going to be my girlfriend. It didn't work out between the two of us. <laughs> but anyway, the point of that story, what was the point of that story? Oh, that was the first day. So they told us the next day we're going to have a special visitor the next day in school. I was all excited. I thought it was going to be Miss Vickers again or something. But the special visitor was the letter A. And it was just a card. Like one of the other teachers came in with this big card with the letter A. And it had an apple on it to like teach us the alphabet. But did you have a special visitor your first day of school this year? Oh, it wasn't our first day of school. It was like during the second or third, third. week. But yeah. No, that wasn't your first week no. you were talking about that. No. With, with this person? No, it was like the second week. Maybe? Really? Yeah. It was yeah. like the first day. All right, go ahead. Tell me about it. So, like before lunch or something, or after lunch, our teacher said we would have a, our teacher said we would have a visitor. And that sounds cool. It sounds like exciting. Yeah. And then they pen? and then they came in and they said they were counselors. In case if you didn't want to tell your parents personal stuff. Can I No. Oh, and also, uh, one day I had a sub for like half the day, and after lunch my teacher came back and she had a doctor's appointment, but, well, she, uh, our substitute teacher, we had this like worksheet thing, it was like for reading comprehension, and we were reading a book for like a whole entire like week. It was like, chapters and we would do a chapter every day so we had this packet that we would have to fill out every day like whatever happened and the first thing to fill out was like the person narrating the story and who was the story about and the story was about this like kid narrating the story and his father how he ran away when he was little and one of the questions for that day's like stuff was have you ever felt like what did you say? I wrote no. Mm -hmm. If you put yes, would it like force you to go see the counselor? Uh, no, because kids in my class said yes, and then the substitute teacher was like, yeah, I ran away for two days when I was little. So what about us? Uh, so back to the counselor. That, that, so they, I don't remember us ever having a counselor in school. What? That was you just. All right. I didn't even think what you said. Okay. You said you wanted to make sure you were on school. Okay. Okay. Go. Tell me about. Tell me what about what happened with the counselor. So they was came. it the same? Did you guys have the same counselor? Oh, yeah. yeah. Was it the type of person that you would you, would you feel comfortable like when you saw her? Did she look like a nice walk Um, there's two counselors. One seemed like normal, but they were still a counselor. And then the what? Uh, the next one was a little like crazy. She yeah. So the other one, she it she was had, like, her she, eyes were like these like bulging. Me, and she was just like always like tapping her legs and like trying to uh, trying to like fiddle with her fingers. And she was like, like what? When she speak up, I can't when, hear when you. the second counselor came in, it the the first thought that came into my head, I was like, she's on drugs for sure. Yeah. She's on drugs. So you thought her eyes were yeah. like. Uh, no, we're, and we're talking, they, this is a story they heard from one of their friends. This is a yeah. legend. This wasn't in their school. This wasn't them. This was a school back in New York. One of their friends sent them an email, told them about the community. This was not them and not in their school. Just yeah. make that clear. Yeah. Anyway, you just say that. So, say yeah, she kept that. twitching her legs, and her face was pale. It was just creepy. It freaked me out. And then you had a test like the first couple weeks. And what was it? What was it? What was one of the questions on the test or the top the beginning of the test? Yeah. 
it's like for schools and like I guess like early jobs like it's some sort of grammar like writing test and at the beginning it says choose your gender it says male female and then non-binary I was gonna raise my hand and ask the teacher what does non-binary mean but like it was just pathetic how that was on the test know. I don't even know what that means, really. What is that? Um, I'm just gonna ask the teacher. Yeah. What do you think it means? No gender? Yes. <laughs> uh, no, you you wouldn't like to choose, or you you uh, believe Maybe in. I'm, I told you. I am. And I've said it before, and I'm gonna say it again. I am gonna associate. How old are you? Seven years old. I'm gonna associate as a seven year old girl, and I'm coming to your school on Friday morning. When they're playing dodgeball, and I'm gonna stomp a mud hole in them little girl's ass. I'm gonna say, listen, I associate with a seven year old, and I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna throw it the damn ball, so we're gonna crush it. We're gonna crush some little seven year old girls. No? There's no dodgeball, why not? Yeah, there's no dodgeball anymore. You can get hurt. Apparently. You just crushed all my dreams of being the, the second grade dodgeball girls champion. <laughs> second? Why second? Oh, man. That was my big hopes and dreams. Why I was going to be the champion. Seven year old. Second grade. What grade are you? Oh. Eight. 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 Like, no, third. Third grade. I was going to be the third grade girls dodgeball champion, but they don't have dodgeball because it's too non binary and you can get injured. This is, this is very stressful. It's a lot and of stuff. Also, going, a lot of stuff going on in school. It's only been the first couple weeks. There's a lot of shit going on. Week Anybody five. Want a joke? What do you got? Joke? What do you got for us? What comes at the end of Thanksgiving? What? End of Thanksgiving. Hold on. Did you tell me this already? Mm-hmm. End of Thanksgiving. And final finish. Turkey. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of something that must fit. What? G. <laughs> oh, I have one that's kind of like that. What is the end of I, like... I, I didn't even get it for the first 10 seconds what of you saying it. I really didn't get it first until just now. What is the end of Thanks. life? Oh my god. Oh my god. What is the end of life? I don't know, they're probably something they talked about in school. And also about the counselors, back to the counselors. This is from New York. My friend emailed me. It, it's about lunch buddies. So now they don't call Yeah, I didn't remember what lunch buddies was. I remember I put the note down because you were telling me about it. Like when we talk, I, I, I literally sit there and take notes. But like this is fucking unheard of. I got to write this down so I don't forget it. So I don't even remember what was lunch buddies. Refresh my memory. So lunch buddies is when you go during lunchtime you could go eat with the counselors in their room and like <laughs> on social. Wednesdays. So it's basically like all the lonely kids. All the lonely kids go there. I don't know why. And they all eat lunch together. Now they call it the socializing group or something or something like that. Do you know what I was in, in elementary school? When I was in elementary school, we had free lunch. Drop my pen. My whole family yeah, had. Yeah, we free lunch. No, but we got, we had, no, really, only the poor kids got free lunches. They wouldn't have to pay like a dollar twenty-five, or in elementary school it was like 60 cents or something. I don't even remember, a dollar twenty-five for lunch. Isn't it 60 cents a dollar? But we, but we couldn't afford it. That's tiny. Oh, yeah. Go on. Okay. Okay. Don't interrupt me that dumb stuff. The, see, now you made me lose the story. So the, the poor kids had to go and get their free lunch. The poor kids had to go get free lunch. But you know what they do? Before school started, the way you guys wait in the parking lot or whatever, you guys stand like, like, you're in, like you're in Squid Game in the parking lot, like lined up kind of, going yeah. to your doom. We would all have to just sit in the cafeteria to wait to go to our classroom. While you were sitting there, whatever kids had free lunches, they would announce over the speaker thing with the whole school in the cafeteria, Steven Eckert, please come up to the window for your free lunch ticket. And you have to go the March of Shame, all the poor free kids, in front of the whole school. Wait, was it the same lunch as the But you know what? The now they won't do that because it would hurt people's feelings. Back then it was like, okay, you had free, I have free lunch. And guess what? If someone's going to make fun of me, I'm probably going to hit him in the head with a chair. And the teacher will tell me, don't hit him in the head with a chair again. And me and the kid will be playing dodgeball again at recess together. After I hit him in the head with a chair, we'll get over it and we'll get past it. Like, that's the way things went. Like, you, it was fine. There was no, I don't know, no, no digital citizenship. And things were good back. And things were good. 
Things were good. We played dodgeball and there'd be wrestling and fighting and craziness and chaos. I wish my school was like your school when you were little. So it was actually like fun and promoting children being, well, children. Yeah, but we didn't have digital citizenship. You're really lucky. You get to learn. Citizenship doesn't even teach us anything. Like, what do we get from dang citizen? <laughs> Did you didn't see? It's hard to say. Did Did you know citizenship. citizenship. So wait a minute. Back to the back to the counselor. No, back to the test. The so non the non-binary, right? Non-binary. So, what do you think? Like, you, I, I'm guessing it means you're neither. Like, you don't associate neither. with either one. You choose I, to not my be a. Adverbs are was then. If as if as if as if was then. If like I'm guessing they're asking like. I can't even comprehend. I can't even imagine that being when I was in school. I can't. I can't even get my head around it. Did anyone ask any question about that, or anyone say anything about it? No, but the I the teacher was gonna say it. There was like a split second where she you could choose your gender, male, female, and then she goes and yeah, you could just choose one of those two. Cause she was gonna say it. She, she didn't say non-binary. It was on the paper. So even the teachers in the school in New York that his friend told him about are not even comfortable telling a sixth grader and a third grader, like teach, if you were gonna talk about this stuff or have these type of conversations, wouldn't it be with your parents? No shit, your parents, not a, a, a teacher that looks like fucking Beetlejuice. I think it's Beetlejuice. Or no, Beetlejuice is the person that, whatever, Never mind. Like those bugged out eyes where you said that you look were like creepy. And then weren't we watching something and it was like a song about it or a movie about it or a documentary or something we heard about how kids are going to the, the, the counselors, the crackhead counselors or something. Someone mentioned it. Like the next day we heard something on, someone was talking about it on a show or something. I forget what it was. All right, this movie on says, this is just disturbing. I'm, I can't even comprehend this stuff. I can, it's hard to even talk about this because I don't even get it. I don't even understand it. I don't, I don't get it. What else were some of the topics that they talked about when in, in the first week or two of school? Yeah, first day. Go back to the first day. First day. Yeah. So we walk in. You must have talked about what you did for the summer. Where were your wins? Yeah, yeah. What okay. sports you played? What nope. vacations nope. you went on? Nope. What'd you do with your families? What was it? No. You so the what? teacher just explains like what like what she did. They go up to this lake, blah blah blah, and then we go to recess. We come back yeah, and then. she's starting to talk about like rules, like what we're allowed to wear, the rules that the school and the first thing she talks about is your searching on your computer uh, on your computers and she says to not search up suicide it's very important first day of school we're talking about don't search suicide on your computer what kind of shirts are you not allowed to wear we're not allowed to wear anything that would represent nazi or swastikas and <laughs> this is like fucking outrageous and, and, and we're not exactly. and, we're, and we're not allowed to wear drugs you can't wear drugs. How do you wear drugs? So you can't wear a bag of cocaine hanging off your ear, but they didn't say anything about sniffing it. So apparently you can sniff the cocaine, just don't wear drugs. You can't, how fucking, this is just ridiculous. This is What is this is crazy. Stick up? Do you know that only, like, the reason that you go to the public school is not even to play with kids, because you guys have kids that you hang out with. You hang out with kids from other schools that you've met of, like, kids of parents of like people I do work with or business with or stuff like that or that you've met at jiu-jitsu or whatever. So you can socialize with kids. The kids you hang out with more most out of school are not even in your school, right? Mm -hmm. They live like in other, other towns. So it's not even for that. Not even for socializing. Yeah, that could be one thing, but socializing. But if you're socializing with, with these kind of, that kind of whatever, that's not even the reason. The reason is to go there and practice mental toughness and all the things that we learn and we talk about together in Professor Egghead of the board down there, you can't see it. Professor Egghead, when we're doing our version of homeschooling, to go there and practice and implement these things and try these things out. After school. If you finish your workout. Yeah, gotta finish your workout, kid. Finish your workout. Finish it, we'll do it. So that's what we do it for. For them to get some real world training. That's what it is. It's public school is great for real world training. So they're ready for the ridiculousness and nonsense when they get a little older and go out in the real world and all this crazy stuff about not wearing drugs and telling them about like, don't look up suicide on the internet the first day of school back not what did you do with your family what did you do with your parents what was the other thing what, what's the times that you're allowed to not do your homework who was it that told me that 
you have times that you can miss your homework. Oh, Remember you telling me something? Yeah. So there's this thing called clever that we use, and there's this there's this thing where it has all our math books, all the lessons, all the modules, like the volumes, and like say you have separate she always mentions like parents that are separated or that are like apart and like if you're switching houses and you accidentally leave your book at one house that you could just go online and like do your homework there i mean there's two ways to look at this there's two ways to look at it like first she's just assuming that the majority of the kids are in, in these separate households, their mother's in one place, obviously that's a reality, like 50%, I think, or more than 50% nowadays. Almost so. everyone in my class. Well, really? like my friends' class. You say like 50% or over yeah, 50% are separate, separate parents. Holy crap. That's like half, more than half. So I guess you're just assuming that the kids are going to be like that, but why, like, make that the norm? Why talk about, like, bring that up like it's the norm? I know it's the reality of what it is, but it must have been, like, some... The teachers must have been saying, all right, when you go home and talk to your parents and some kids maybe got upset, oh, my parents just have a house and they have to be inclusive to everyone to, again, not hurt anyone's feelings and just like the dodgeball and all this other stuff. But just to assume, like, so so what you should have asked, what do I do if I'm confused if my parents live in the same house? Now I'm fucking confused because you're telling me that when I'm at my mom's house and they're just talking and assuming that you're in that situation, which is, is just bizarre. Every one of these things that you're talking about, I know the world changes, you have to kind of change the times and things things like that. Obviously the world has freaking changed, technology and all this other stuff. But none of this stuff ever, when I was a kid, would have been talked about. Ever, ever would have been talked about. It's it's nuts. It's crazy. So they just assume that you're in separate houses. houses. And that's when you're allowed to not have your homework. Let me ask you, if you were if you were if you came with your both of your parents and we were, let's say, on an RV trip, and we were doing some great things and having a great time, really connecting and bonding, and you didn't have your homework because of that, because you were on a, you were on a trip like that with, with your parents, and you told your teacher that. Or maybe you said that you were out with your parents late doing some sporting event, or with a, a family birthday party, with, both of your parents. Would you be allowed to not have your homework then? Probably not. You'd probably get in like trouble. Well, some days, <laughs> some days we in the morning we have study hall, and you get if you do, like don't do your homework then you can do it then for like thirty minutes. No, but the point is, but, my point was that it's okay to not do your homework if you're because you're at your separate parents' house. But if you're going to do something productive, beneficial with your parents and something is out your homework or missing days, right? You can't miss days. Oh yeah. If you, if you say like, if you get sick, the teacher like won't get mad at, well not mad, it, she'll just like make sure that you make up all the work or, and everything. But say if you're going away for a week or more, you're just not allowed to do it. Like say if there's like a test in the coming week and you're not there, for a week, you just can't make up anything that was so in that So if you have the Coronas, it's you okay. have the Coronas, it's okay. it's okay. You can miss school. You don't need to do your homework. If you're split in one of your parents' houses and you couldn't make it back for some reason because you're in the one parent and the other parent, maybe one of them's out of town. Maybe one of the other parents moved away and you're at the other parent. It's okay to not do your homework and to miss school. But if you're on a trip with both of your parents, or going on a business trip with your parents and you're still doing your school work that, that you do, but you're not allowed to miss your homework and you're not allowed to miss a day. Is that kind of how it goes? Kind of, yeah. This my is, this is really, this is digging out in some good, good my, habits my into your teacher, DNA. My teacher, she's a little bit like... No, that. not your teacher. These are the ones in New York from the person oh, yeah, from from Jill and Freddie that's... Can I, can I, can I say a joke? No, she I can't. Wait, wait, wait. What? We got? So my friend's teacher, she got... She's like a little bit better than Tyson's friend's teacher. And she said, she told me that she said, it's okay to not do your homework if like your pet dies or something and you just don't feel like doing it. Jeez, I would leave school 
fucking talker. I would need to, after finishing a day of this school, I would need to go see the bugly eyed fucking counselor. I'm serious. Like this, we're, they're talking about your parents in different places, uh, your, your lunch buddies because you're depressed and suicide and wearing drugs. Like this is what we're talking about in the first week of school. Like where's the freaking positivity? Where's the actual learning? Where's the life skills, the communication skills, the leadership skills, the teamwork? The problem solving, the actual shit that's gonna freaking help you. What's you got? Yes, my joke. I was in the middle of talking to anything. Go ahead. Your joke is very informative. What you got? This is like, I mean, I'm not saying a joke yet, right now, but right after this, I will. This is a joke that really represents how lazy people can be. All right, so What's something hard people do before breakfast? Something hard people do before breakfast. I get 10 seconds. You have to count very light, slowly out loud. Mm. No, lowly. Not slowly, just normal 10 seconds, but not like loud. Let me think. Say that with the joke one more time and then it starts with 10 seconds. What is something hard that people do before breakfast? Said was thinking wake up. I didn't think that made sense. It's a cool background. All right. So we're just losing one of the screens here. That's okay. Good. Good. All right. She's covered a lot of things today, but what about in class? It's pretty funny. We actually might have one here or something similar to it. In class, what if you were feeling like you had a little extra energy? Oh, that's me. That's me. On your class, you don't have those. Oh, you're not advancing. <laughs> older kids. Oh, those are the chair. Yeah. You don't have them? So, let's say you need to like move your legs around or something. And, and you're like, wiggly. Oh no, the, my teacher says, get your wiggles out. So there's like these... Oh, what the fuck are we talking about? Get your wiggles out. You know what a teacher would say? When I was a kid? Stop that right now. That's it. And the kid would stop. And they're cured. They don't have the wiggles anymore. They don't need any medication. They don't have any of the ACDC or whatever the hell it is. Go. What happens? So they they're like these weird chair straps, and you attach them to your chair, and you just kick it. Like these are the legs. Look, we have an exercise band it. here. We use this for working out. Oh, this yeah. happened to be right here, which is funny because sometimes we get a pump on before we come on camera, and this happens to be sitting right here. Is it kind of like this? Yeah, I'll show you. Okay. Well, what I can see on the camera. Like, just explain how this. So like. Can you see that? I'm on it. So, it, I need to get my it's like, <laughs> you think it's your it's like this, you do uh, attached to the chair, and then you just like, like kick it. Wait, no, so like, and then it just bounces back, and you just keep kicking it, or. Isn't that very distracting and disruptive to the kids Yeah, around? you can hear it like. Wouldn't all the other kids see it and hear it and just be totally lose their, just like, be full? I'm, I'm yeah. Focused. And, also, she says like she has like these this like shelf where you could stand and work and she even said if you're like a wiggly person and you need to move like you need to like just like while you're working like that sounds like very effective work yeah there's no problem no problem with standing up when you're working because you get stiff and you want to just stand up but get your wiggles out how about they get your wiggles out in gym class in Recess? How about that? That'd be great. Yeah. In gym oh. class. What about gym class? What do you do in gym class? Do they have gym class anymore? Well, they say it's too hot so we can't have gym class. And they also... It is hot as a mother effer here. And they last, also... like 10 days, like over a, look at this 110 degrees and so wet and the air conditioners blew out because the grid in California, they tell you that by 2035... Hey, it's farted. Someone farted. Ew. You're smoking Delta. In California, they say by 2035, you can only have electric cars. You can't have gas-powered cars. The next day, they said, the electrical grid is too strong. It's too overwhelmed. So don't charge your electrical cars. Well, I'm confused. So you're telling us we have to have electric cars, but don't charge them. So now people are using gas-powered generators to charge their electrical cars. It's freaking crazy. It's funny. It's good stuff. It's the same kind of methods you're using and teaching in the schools. What were you saying? 
Oh yeah, the. So yeah. Get your wiggles out, or just do one of these. Oh yeah, they canceled our lunch recess because well, they didn't cancel it, so but it's we can, just can't have recess during lunch. Because oh, it's inclement weather. Yeah, and they all yeah inclement weather. That's what they call it. And well, no, it is at, at least hot. nowadays, now, uh, for the past like two or three days, they've actually let us have outdoor recess, which is like so overwhelming. Gym class? Do they like oh, teach okay. you a different sport in gym class, like? This is basketball, this is the rules, this is double dribbling, this is how you inbound it, or soccer, this is how you pass it in, this is the goalie, these are the different positions, these are the rules, this is how the time works. They teach you the actual different sports, or it's just go and do what you want to do? No, so every day, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, we run every day in the morning, 10 to 15 minutes. How many, are you, you have to, you have to run the whole time? No, you don't, you don't have to. Do you do this too, or is it not? 90, uh, no, 90, every Friday, so rarely ever do it. Well, eighty percent of the kids run. I'm pretty sure I'm the only kid in the school that runs the entire time. Like so at the run? at the first lap. So we don't get it. So it's it's running instead of gym class. But then they don't have to run. What do they do? They just walk and talk. That's good. That's good. They're, maybe they, they can they walk and talk with their their lunch buddy or their. But we got a counselor. Maybe they walked over to the counselor and talk about suicides. Oh, How about you? Would, I bet you wouldn't be wiggly. You know what I've been making up wiggly? If you're you had some fucking gym class all the time and you had some activity and did some exciting stuff and wore you the hell out. Every Wednesday we don't have to. So. You should have gym class. You should have gym class. Like, you should be moving every freaking day. Then you should have recess on top of that. And there should be other activities where you're up and stimulating your mind, like moving around and creating stuff, building stuff, like challenging yourself, pushing yourself. So, so, so you don't get those, so you get your wiggles out. You get your wiggles out. So at my friend's school, she has this kid in her grade. His name is Sky and he has autism. And Who? I, uh, Sky, oh, his name, he has autism. And she says she always sees him like with the counselors. And one time he had like an emotional breakdown well, some kids like that, this. like they yeah, have, they really, fine. they do have yeah. special like needs and stuff. Like, yeah, but the counselors right? are always there, like holding his hand. If I have to, that's you have a cousin that's like that, so you get how it goes sometimes. But I, I think that's not most of the people that are, you know. Yeah, it's only one kid. And so the foot rubber band, lots going on. You guys have a busy year at school. This is this may this have been the longest and best show of breaking the cycle. Had a lot of stuff out. We talked about a lot of stuff. Any, any other stuff you want to add in? Yeah, oh, yeah, go. yeah, yeah. I'll go first. What invention had helped people get up? I don't, you're not going to Say it again. I, 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 what, sir, uh, here's a hint, three of them. What invention had helped people get up? Is it I just, actually get up? I need to work my brain works. I'm not even coming up with it. It's, it's, it's these hold on. These, these also express these are also express how they use the You've got alarm it. clock. Alarm clock and there's two more. Got one. What you've used all of them before you know. Cocaine! You should get up and get hot. It's mentioned. Yeah, it used to be like a plant that was for medicine and people use it to get hot. Wait, it used to be a medicine? Well, almost all drugs were at some point the reason they were discovered is because there was some kind of medicine that you look them up. They're trying to become medicines, and now you learn something new every day. A lot of people are addicted to prescription drugs because they're medicines that help you. Like certain times, you have to take things that numb you or make you like all like whatever or laughing gas. Like those are all basically drugs. I that, get laughing gas at the dentist when they're filling my cavities. <laughs> drugs. Or what's the answer? I'm sorry. Oh, Mother. I know. Mother. Ladders, elevators, and all the Okay, I want to do one. Elevators. Can I, I do two? Out. Go. What you got? Who earns a living by driving his customers away? His customers away. Taxi driver. I guess it's supposed to be Uber. Uber driver. Um, oh, it's a taxi driver. We're, 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 on, we're talking about the old way of doing things, so we're, it's a taxi driver. Okay, fine. I got that one. Why did the man take his clock to the vet? His clock? Vet. What the heck? You know the answer. 
I'm the whole game is I'm supposed to try and guess the answer. No, you guys know these jokes. The whole point is I'm supposed to try and figure it out within 10 seconds. I'm decent today. I got a couple. Hold on. What's the lesson that you're getting from these jokes? With asking me the jokes and I have to come up with the answer. What's the lesson you're getting from this? Wait, these are supposed to be lessons? From this whole thing we're doing here today. Just this, these jokes. What are you get? What lesson am I kind of teaching you when I'm answering these jokes? So you can figure that out. There's my joke for the day. That you're an old guy so you can't figure stuff out? How's that a lesson? <laughs> I figured out a couple. I mean, you figured out without knowing the answers. Can I find out the answers if I wanted to? Yeah. How? By like cheating. Like, so what's the lesson? Don't cheat. Don't cheat. Answers are literally, if I wanted to, I could peek right in front of you and get everyone of them right because you have little cheat sheets. No, it depends. That if I'm being not a cheater and being honest about it and playing fair and trying to actually get it myself, what good would it be if I just look and say, I want to actually try and use my brain to try and figure them out. It's hard with these cheesy ass jokes. All right, what do you got? What is a boxer's favorite drink? A boxer? Like actual. Juice box. Box juice. High C. Capri Sun. I've never had a high C in my life. What's a high C? The juice box. What is it? Punch. Punch? Did I say that? I said juice box. Okay, Alright, let let let's wrap this up. Do one more and then we're gonna roll out. Okay. What? What do baseball players eat on? This is for you, not for you. Yeah. Look at that, I got that one. All right, this okay, is the episode our number 19 of Breaking the Cycle. You're freaking awesome. You're freaking awesome. You're freaking awesome. Anything you want to tell them? No! Excuse me! Very, very, very normal children that came out that we're here from. We will talk next time. You are freaking awesome. Remember to hydrate. Bye-bye. No excuses.